If my children were gay, that would be fine by me. Prince William says he would fully support his children over their sexuality, but fears they would be persecuted, as he opens up on the topic for first time. Prince William today said he would wholeheartedly support his children if they were gay as he spoke to young people disowned by their own parents because of their sexuality. The future king, 37, is the first royal to open up on the subject and admitted he had recently discussed it with his wife Kate. But the prince also confessed he worried that George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, or Louis, 1, could also be persecuted if they were gay because they are third, fourth and fifth in line to the throne, respectively. The Duke of Cambridge was visiting a LGBT charity in East London that helps young people forced onto the streets because of their sexual orientation or for being transgender. Advertising One young gay man, who asked not to be identified, Asked William, if your child one day in the future said oh I'm gay, oh I'm lesbian whatever, how would you react? He replied, I've been giving that some thought recently because a couple of other parents said that to me as well. I think you really don't start thinking about that until you are a parent, and I think, obviously absolutely fine by me. But William added, it worries me, not because of them being gay. It worries me as to how everyone else will react and perceive it and then the pressure is then on them. His words have been praised on social media by campaigners who believe his comments will be well received. One tweet, the wonderful thing is that Prince William the sort of person, that can and will help stop the bullying that children who are LGBTQ are different in schools and in society. Another wrote, how wonderful that the future king is using his influence and platform to be an ally for the LGBTQ community. One young gay man, who asked not to be identified, asked William, if your child one day in the future said oh I'm gay, oh I'm lesbian whatever, how would you react? He replied, I've been giving that some thought recently because a couple of other parents said that to me as well. I think you really don't start thinking about that until you are a parent, and I think, Obviously absolutely fine by me. But William added, it worries me, not because of them being gay, it worries me as to how everyone else will react and perceive it and then the pressure is then on them. William was speaking on a visit to the Albert Kennedy Trust, AKT, a charity that helps LBGT homeless young people. When asked about his children he said, the one thing I'd be worried about is how they, particularly the roles my children fill, is how that is going to be interpreted and seen. So Catherine and I have been doing a lot of talking about it to make sure they were prepared. I think communication is so important with everything, in order to help understand it you've got to talk a lot about stuff and make sure how to support each other and how to go through the process. During what is thought to be the first time a member of the royal family has visited a dedicated LGBT organization. William also took part in a group discussion with several ambassadors, young people who have been supported by the charity and now mentor others using its services. The Duke of Cambridge has told how he will fully support his children if they come out as LGBT as he visited the Albert Kennedy Trust in London on Wednesday. Prince William, 37, said it would be absolutely fine by me if in the future Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, or Louis, 1, came out as gay or a lesbian. The prince, who donned a navy blazer and brown trousers during his visit, then officially opened the new services center in Hoxton, which will host drop-in sessions for young people and grow its youth engagement offering. He also heard about the positive change the charity are enacting through their unique prevention and early action approach. His Royal Highness could be seen sharing a joke with Trust Chief Executive Officer Tim Seesworth before being handed a gift bag complete with the pride colors. These include the Safe House Purple Door, care services, in-person and online mentoring programs and a range of youth engagement activities. His visit comes ahead of the annual Pride in London parade and is in recognition of the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising. Almost one quarter of the 150,000 young people facing or experiencing homelessness identify as LGBTQ and 77% of those cite rejection or abuse from their families as what has led them to being so. The charity runs an online support service and has centres in London and the North West and North East. In 30 years, 
the voluntary organization has provided over 250,000 nights off the street and helped over 50,000 gay youngsters at risk of, or experiencing homelessness. The services team is made up of caseworkers who support young people to achieve better futures, including supporting them with job hunting and interview preparation. They also ensure the youngsters have food, clothes and shoes, that their well-being is stable and that they know how to complete the right documentation for anything they might need. It is not the first time the prince has become involved in LGBT issues. Three years ago, he appeared on the cover of the gay magazine Attitude and used an interview to highlight homophobic, biphobic and transphobic bullying and the resulting effects on people's mental health. The Duke is a long-standing supporter of organizations working to combat homelessness, and is patron of Centerpoint and The Passage. The Stonewall Uprising took place in New York on June 28, 1969, and is seen as the moment that sparked the modern LGBTQ movement around the world. Pride marches around the world will be recognizing the anniversary, including Pride in London, where staff and supporters from the charity will be marching. It is believed the Duke is giving his support to the Albert Kennedy Trust after Lady Gaga recommended that he get involved. The pair first teamed up together after William read an open letter by Gaga about living with post-traumatic stress disorder. They then collaborated on a project for Heads Together a mental health initiative spearheaded by the Royal Foundation, in 2017. A source told the Mail on Sunday, they met during the campaign and they've kept in touch. Lady Gaga encouraged him to get involved with ACT as she has previously done work with them. The stories she shared with him inspired him to lend a hand. The charity was founded in 1989 by Kath Hall, a foster carer who named it after a 16-year-old boy who fell to his death from a Manchester car park after being chased by a gang. Albert, who was gay, had run away from a children's home in Salford and had suffered appalling homophobia. Ems Hall described establishing the trust, which has several high-profile patrons including Sir Ian McKellen, as an emotional response, an angry response, to what was going on. His words have been praised on social media by campaigners who believe his comments will be well received. One tweet, the wonderful thing is that Prince William the sort of person, that can and will help stop the bullying that children who are LGBTQ are different in schools and in society. Another wrote, how wonderful that the future king is using his influence and platform to be an ally for the LGBTQ community.